Today we're going to be giving you some tips on how to sit cross-legged. Um, so the basic thing is bringing the feet in and trying not to compress onto the posterior tibial artery. So this bone be a bit that sticks out here, just behind that there's an artery. So if you put your shin directly on that, it's going to get painful. Um, that's one tip. The second tip is depending on how big your legs are, uh, it's going to be harder for you to sit. So if you've got very muscly legs or fat legs, uh, you're going to constrict the blood vessels going to the legs quicker and you're going to get um, uh, pins and needles quicker. So maybe you need to lose weight or maybe you need to just accept the fact that it's going to be a bit more difficult for you to sit cross-legged. Um, the next thing to look at, apart from how big the legs are, is your lower back. So if you're sitting upright, there's only a certain amount of time you can sit in this position without your back and your knees starting to get sore. So if you're going to sit at home, what I'd recommend is to prop your back up against something and to have your knees outstretched and to sit on something. That way your back is supported and there's no pressure on your knees. If you're sitting like this, there will be pressure on your knees and after a while they will start to fatigue and start to hurt. The fourth tip I'd like to share is what someone shared with me when I was trying to learn how to sit cross-legged for long periods of time. He said, watch this film while sitting cross-legged. So in terms of getting the right amount of ligament laxity and the right amount of soft tissue mobility, uh, if you sit like that for hours and hours, you're going to get better at it over time. So it's a period of kind of uh, an adjustment phase while your body adjusts. So if you can watch a film and you can sit cross-legged because your attention is in the film, uh, time's going to go quite quickly and you're going to get better at it quite quickly without focusing too much on the pain. The next thing you can do is, one of my favourites, tip number five, is to use your jacket. So if you're in a temple or if you're somewhere where people are meditating and you need to sit cross-legged, use your jacket and just tuck that in underneath you. Because you're, even though it's a couple of inches, because you're raising the height of the hips, it reduces the pressure on the back and also on the knees, so it'll be a lot easier for you. So that's five tips on how you can sit cross-legged. Um, number six is, if you're starting to ache in one position, make sure you add variation and that can reduce the amount of strain on your body. So you can bring one leg behind, for example, or you can have burst knees in front. So moving, changing, varying the position will prevent too much build-up of strain in one area as well.